As we start talking about lighting, I want to kind of go over some of the basics and some of the, the various things that confuse younger photographers as they're learning light. I know when I first started into photography, there were a lot of terms that kind of were very vague and didn't explain specifically what the instructor was talking about. One of them was the quality of light. It almost made it sound like there was one certain or magical kind of light that made a person look beautiful. And light really doesn't have a quality. It has a characteristic. It can be harder or softer. It can lack direction or be directional. But it really doesn't have a quality. It also has a quantity and that you would adjust with your, your camera settings. But basically every lighting or every type of lighting has a certain characteristic and that characteristic is better for some uses and worse for others. Now one of my favorite kinds of lighting is butterfly lighting. It's a fashion light to where you have an overhead light that puts a 12 o'clock catch light in both eyes. Then you either have a secondary light or a reflector reflecting light back up. Um, either one, it's a very dramatic light, it's very pretty. Some of the mistakes I see photographers making is having this upper light too far overhead. It creates very deep eye sockets and the eye isn't properly illuminated. You back it up to where it's in front of the person rather than overhead. When you're using a secondary light, if you use a reflector, it's very easy just to, to bring it in until you have the effect that you're looking for. If you use a secondary light, you're going to have to meter and do a little testing to get it right. I usually start off with the, the secondary light at about a stop less than the main light, and sometimes I'll work with them almost even as far as the light output goes. Now, in all of these photographs, we use everything in the studio meters around F8, unless I specifically want to change it. There are times where we use a very delicate background that I want to see the detail in. I will turn up the power of the light so I can stop down the lens for more depth of field. There are other times that I want to throw a background completely out of focus. We'll power down the lights to get it around F4, 5, 6, even 2, 8. So that's, but on an average, everything is set up to where it's around F8. The other thing is when we're using a reflector for fill, we lower the shutter speed. I was at a program many years ago and a photographer demonstrated the amount of fill that you get using a slower shutter speed, like a 50th or a 60th of a second, as opposed to a 125th of a second. It basically, I, I don't know the theory behind it, but it basically gives enough time for the light to bounce back and effectively fill the face. The other thing that we're, most of everything in the studio, we shoot with a 70 to 200, 2.8 Canon lens and a Canon 5D. Now, with this, these, because we want to have a portrait that visually makes sense. When we use fashion lighting like this, we use fashion posing. We have the person in more unique types of clothing. Like right now she has a beautiful dress on, very satiny, has a nice shimmer to it, it looks very elegant. That reflects the same look as the lighting and that will reflect the same look as the pose. So everything comes together to visually make sense. Around the back of your neck, all the way around. That's good, elbow comes down. Good, you're gonna take your left hand and go behind your hair, all the way up here. It'll bring your elbow up, perfect. Now bring your elbows close together, just bring them in, turn your face more this way, perfect. Now look right at me with your eyes, beautiful, beautiful, all the way. <laughs> it's painful, you're a cheerleader, you're used to it. Okay, now turn your face more this way, tilt the top of your head more that way, turn your face more towards me. Jared, do me a favor, take that light and angle it the other way, please. Beautiful, now no, just like that, excellent, just like that. Turn your face a little more towards the light. Beautiful, just like that. Big smile, good. Now no smile at all, just relax, perfect. Now, take, leave your right hand around your neck like it is, pull your left hand out. Take your left hand around the back of your neck, a little bit, I'm sorry, to the back of your head. But don't touch your hair too much, because you'll distort it. And then have your elbow come in, tilt your head more this way. Chin down just a hair, beautiful. Just like that, excellent. Big smile, now no smile at all, just relax. Perfect. 